Hi, welcome to Lady Lovely Locks. Today we're going to be going over Renee of Paris's Ray in Melted Marshmallow. So this is um, a synthetic piece. It is, I don't know if they have heat friendly, but it's not heat friendly in case you were wondering. Um, it has a, it's open wefted and has a single left mono part. Uh, it's got the felt covered ear tabs and no um, extended nape. And then it's got those little breast strap adjusters. So um, this piece, this I'm gonna show you right now underneath. So this part goes all the way back. And um, I had used that um, tape, or I'm sorry, the silicone tape, yeah people put underneath I had done that to give it just a little bit more realistic look so she is as you can tell she's angled she's not completely angled like John Renault's Mina or like Raquel Welch's Own the Runway but she's still you know a little more Kind of like at night, ignite John by John Rowe, but these pieces are just a little um, longer. So uh, she's also got a lace front. So um, some of Renee Paris's wigs do not have the velvet ear tabs, and I find them way more itchy. So if you find your wigs itchy, that could be a problem. Um, I think it's some of uh, Renee of Paris and Noriko and Amore all fall underneath Adirondacks. And I think it's Noriko that has the itchier lace. I'm pretty sure that's the connection. But Renee Paris had Hudson and that was itchy on me. So it really just depends. But overall that, that brand, it's hit or miss. For me, how I feel as far as how these caps feel comfortable. Some of them were big and I had to have them adjusted. Um, this one feels perfect. There's like, you know, I can move like one weft, but that's it. It's not that bad. So um, they're generally known to be small head friendly and medium size. And my head is like just under 21 and a half inches. So they all fit me, but some of them have even felt tight on me and some of them have been baggy. I had um, Renee or Amore's Hayden and that was super baggy up here. So it just, it just did not work out for me. Um, so just just because one you find one wig fits in one brand, it doesn't mean they will all be like that. So just keep that in mind. But the style of this wig, she's got these beachy waves and then it's more tapered in the back. So if you have hair in the back, like if you see that, I could easily bring out my hair and it wouldn't be an issue. Um, so it blends perfectly. Um, the fibers, the fibers of the hair are not amazing. They don't feel like human hair, but you know, for the price of this wig, they still feel fantastic. They don't, you know, because this is a short wig, you don't have to worry about tangling and this wig is going to last forever. But I just, I love, so if you guys know me, I don't have a lot of shorter pieces. But um, I do like Ray. She holds a special place in my heart. I've had her for a year. She was a great work wig. Um, I just, I can't, even though I don't wear my short wigs um, and I've sold quite a few of them, or given them away, she's just, I can't part with her. I just, I love these beach waves. I love this look. It's so, it's just, I just like it. Um, I just like it a lot. I like it a lot. And you know, I, so normally when I wear her, I mean, this looks pretty good too. I like to tuck this side 
behind the ears. Oh my goodness. I painted my nails and they're like not dry yet. That's what happens when you use cheap nail polish. Um, so every time I try and touch anything, I feel them smashing. Um, see, so you cannot pull this hair back. Look how stark that hairline is. You've got to blend your hair or strategically place this hair. So what I like to do is leave that out and then I ear tuck. So some wigs, you know, that's just kind of how it is when you have a, a less, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? When you have a less expensive wig, <sighs> there's certain things, you know, you can't always pull it off the face. You can't um, put it up and, you know, if it's a longer piece, you can't always put it up if it doesn't blend right. You know, just certain things to keep in mind. So with this one, definitely cannot pull off the face. You could maybe twist that part and do it like that. But as far as like all the way, it's just, the lace fern is not that spectacular. Now, if you wanted, you could probably do like some of those hairs and then you could like comb that back just to spruce it up if you got tired of doing the same thing and twist that up and have those hairs like that you could do that and it doesn't look that bad you can't see the lace front you can see the parting um so it looks like a close so yeah putting the scar away tape underneath or like powdered um, makeup underneath helps a lot with those knots. Um, but you could do that. Um, these waves, I just I just love them. I put this wig on for fun. You know, we all like to play dress up with our wigs. And I just like her, I just don't wanna part with her. And I find myself sometimes looking for her in other colors. So there's just something about her that I just like and I can't get rid of her. So, um, she stays even though I I like haven't worn her eye. I just like long pieces right now. I don't know. But she can easily use as a piece that's not everyday mom hair, like grocery shopping hair. This, you know, like I got like my makeup done. I did, you know, foundation, the whole thing. And you can wear her, you know, you can add a little bit of hairspray to get her spruced up in the back and get a little um PC, uh, piece out contour cream like that stuff John Renault has and just get her looking sexy, you know? I mean, and by being able to get that part back there, you can easily, I just like how I could pull that back and it's just so fun to manipulate. So fun to manipulate. You can hairspray that and good to go. And she looks just very glamorous, very glamorous. Um, so let's talk about this color. It's Melted Marshmallow. I've talked about Melted Marshmallow before. I love that color. Um, I, this color, you just, you gotta look up close, but this, so it has this sandy blonde. This is a dark root. I would say this is like an eight, maybe a six. I'm not positive, but I'm saying somewhere between a six and an eight. And then it gets this sandy blonde, which sandy blonde is more of a, um, I'd say like a, a neutral blonde, um, a warm blonde, but then it has this ashy tip. So I have tried on Palm Springs Blonde. I look hideous in it. It does not complement my skin tone at all. I'm someone who looks good in warm colored wigs. I have warm undertones. This piece, and I've tried on Ice Blonde and it looks hideous on me. It looks gray and it's not good. But because this has that blend of the warm sandy blonde and then the ash, I'm able to pull this color off. Anybody can pull this color off. It's a very neutral color. And so, you know, just be rest assured, and I would not lie to you, 
you know, there's some colors I would say would not look good on somebody and whatnot, but rest assured that this color will look good on you, whether you wear cool undertones or warm undertones, um, because I can pull it off. So, and I've seen people who can pull off Palm Springs Blonde, Palm Springs Blonde and um, some of those cooler, ashier blondes, they can pull it off, but they look phenomenal and beautiful in this piece. So this blonde can really be worn for everyone. And it's got enough rooting that it's not overly blonde. So, you know, I would say that if you, you know, depending on the piece, like if you were new to blonde and you wanted to try it, this wouldn't be that bad. I don't think this would be that intense of a blonde because there's so much rooting and you know the only really blonde blonde part about it is the tip so i really think that you, this would be good if you want to try out blonde um but not take the total plunge like for renee of paris um you know they have like creamy toffee that's way more blonde um what else they have well, creamy blonde, obviously, that's way blonde. But um, this would be a safer bet if you're trying to stick with Renee of Paris and you wanna try some blonde, but not a whole like, hey, look at me, I'm blonde. So I think this would be a good transition. And it doesn't look, this color does not look wiggy because it's got the rooting, it's got so much rooting, and then this that it really doesn't throw people off. You know, if you're looking for natural and realism, this does not, throw people off because of this dimension and the rooting. It's really, it's really a beautiful color and it is one of my favorite blondes. I like this blonde more than Shaded Biscuit, which everybody loves that. So Shaded Biscuit is just a little too blonde for me. So I definitely like this more than Shaded Biscuit. But um, yeah, so here she is. This is Ray. This is a very affordable piece. You can find this on sale all the time. If, you know, if you don't want to pay full price, which who wants to pay full price? But she, if you are on a budget and you want something, you know, with a little pizzazz and um, you know, these waves are very like this is a piece that you should try because this. I mean, I've worn this to work. And you know, if you don't want it to look super fancy and done up, you know, you can just tuck some of that behind your ears and you know, flatten it out and it won't look so like, hey, look at me. But then, you know, if you want it to look all crazy and you know, get some little piece out, you know, cream for those curls, you can get this to look va va voom. So, anyways, I hope this review was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and um, like, subscribe, you know, all that jazz. Um, if you watch this video to the very end, thank you. I appreciate you. And um, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm more than happy to help. Okay, thank you and have a good day.